Hela wa karibu endelee kujifunza na hapa tuendelee na somo la sabini na moja. Lesson 71. Na katika lesson 71 tunaendelea na mfululizo wa masomo ya passive voice. Na katika mfululizo huu tumefikia kipengele cha future perfect tense. Future perfect tense ambayo ni wakati ujao hali timilifu. Future perfect tense. Tumeshaangalia vipengele viwili vya future tense. Hiki ni kipengele cha tatu na tutakuwa tumebakiza kipengele kimoja ambacho ni future perfect continuous au future perfect progressive tense. Tutakuwa tumemaliza vipengele vinne vya future tense kwa upande wa passive voice. Ikiwa unahitaji kupata somo lingine leo katika mfululizo wa masomo ya Kiingereza cha kuongea utaenda YouTube sehemu ya kutafuta video kisha utaandika kwa mfano somo la kwanza Kiingereza cha kuongea ikiwa unatafuta somo la kwanza lakini kwa mfano kama unataka somo la kumi, utaandika somo la kumi Kiingereza cha kuongea na kadhalika kwa kuna badilisha ile namba ya somo tu lakini maneno yote unatumia hayo hayo ili kupata somo tofauti Tuangalie hapa mifano tulionayo katika hili somo na mfano wa kwanza una sentence mbili ambapo sentence ya kwanza itakuwa katika kauli ya kutenda yani active voice na sentence ya pili itakuwa katika kauli ya kutendwa yani passive voice ambayo hasa ndilo somo kuu katika mfululizo huu wa masomo ya passive voice number one. before that happens they will have given me my license before that happens they will have given me my license before that happens before that happens inamaanisha kabla hilo halijatokea au kabla hicho hakijatokea au pia kabla ya hilo kutokea au kabla ya hicho kutokea they will have given me tukishia hapo they will have given me inamaanisha watakuwa wamenipa they will have given me watakuwa wamenipa my license inamaanisha leseni yangu kwa pamoja before that happens they will have given me my license before that happens they will have given me my license inamaanisha kabla ya hilo kutokea watakuwa wamenipa leseni yangu tuangalie sasa muundo wa sentensi katika future perfect tense kwa upande wa sentensi za kawaida yani za kauli ya kutenda unakuwa na kiwakilishi jina au majina unaweka neno will kama utakumbuka nilisema kwa upande wa i na will unaweza kutumia shall lakini kwa asilimia kubwa will inatumika shall mara nyingi inatumika kwenye kuuliza swali kwa upande wa i na will lakini sehemu nyingine zilizosalia inatumika will kwa hiyo will kiurahisi tu inatumika kwenye viwakilishi vyote na majina yote katika umoja na wingi kwa hiyo kuna kuwa na kiwakilishi jina au majina kuna will pia kuna have alafu kuna kitendo ambacho kiko katika past participle kwa mfano hapa kuna they will have given tukiongeza na me they will have given me watakuwa wamenipa kwa mfano nitakuwa nimekupa i will have given you atakuwa amekupa kama ni uhakike she will have given you juma atakuwa amekupa juma will have given you na kadhalika twende sasa katika sentence ambayo iko katika kauli ya kutendwa ambayo ni hii hapa before that happens i will have been given my license by them before that happens i will have been given my license by them ambayo inamaanisha kabla ya hilo kutokea nitakuwa nimepewa leseni yangu na wao kabla ya hilo kutokea nitakuwa nimepewa leseni yangu na wao hasa tuangalie muundo wa sentensi katika passive voice kwa upande wa future perfect tense tuachane na haya maelezo twende moja kwa moja huku kuna kuwa na kiwakilishi jina au majina kuna kuwa na will kuna kuwa na have kuna kuwa na been kuna kuwa na given kwa hiyo ukiacha huu muundo wa kawaida katika passive voice unaongeza neno moja tu ambalo ni been baada ya neno have. Kwa badala ya kuwa kwa mfano I will have given you inakuwa I will have been given by you. Kwa mfano I will have given you inamaanisha nitakuwa nimekupa I will have been given by you nitakuwa nimepewa na wewe. Kwa hiyo ni neno been tu linaongezeka hapo. Kwa ila inahitaji umakini ili utofautishe kauli ya kutenda na kauli ya kutendwa. Nirudie tena kwa mara moja mwanzo mpaka mwisho. Before that happens I will have been given my license by them. Before that happens I will have been given my license by them ambayo inamaanisha kabla ya hilo kutokea nitakuwa nimepewa leseni yangu na wao. 
twende katika mifano mingine na jambo la msingi ni kuwa makini tu katika kila mfano. Yawezekana hapa mfano wa kwanza wa tayari umeshauelewa, ukao umeshajua tayari katika future eh, perfect kwa upande wa passive voice sentences na kuwaje lakini unapoendelea kufuatia sentences zote yumkini utakuta kipande cha sentence au utakuta baadhi ya maneno ambayo yumkini hakuyajua ambayo ukiyajua itakusaidia pia kupiga hatua katika kujifunza Kiingereza na katika matumizi yako pia ya Kiingereza. Number 2 Tuende katika mfano wa pili example 2 example 2 ina haya yafuatayo before the invited guests arrive all tables and chairs will have been arranged properly before the invited guests arrive all tables and chairs will have been arranged properly tuanze taratibu hatua kwa hatua before the invited guests arrive hii inamaanisha kabla wageni waalikwa hawajafika au pia naweza kusema kabla ya wageni waliowalikwa kufika all tables and chairs all tables and chairs inamaanisha viti vyote na meza zote au meza zote na viti vyote all tables and chairs kwa sababu tables ni meza chairs ni viti kwa hiyo viti eh, meza zote na viti vyote all tables and chairs meza zote na viti vyote will have been arranged kishia hapo all tables and chairs will have been arranged na maanisha meza zote na viti vyote vitakuwa vimepangwa meza zote na viti vyote vitakuwa vimepangwa properly properly na maanisha vizuri au kwa usahihi vitakuwa vimepangwa kwa usahihi au katika mpangilio mzuri kwa tukianza mwanzo mpaka mwisho before the invited guests arrive all tables and chairs will have been arranged properly before the invited guests arrive All tables and chairs will have been arranged properly. Kabla ya wageni waalikwa kuwasili au kufika au kabla ya wageni waliowalikwa kufika au kuwasili meza zote na viti vyote vitakuwa vimepangwa vizuri au vitakuwa vimepangwa katika mpangilio katika mpangilio mzuri. Twende katika mfano wetu unaofuata ambao mfano huu uko katika mtindo wa swali. Kwa hiyo mfano huu utatusaidia kujua namna ya kuuliza maswali katika future perfect tense kwa upande wa passive voice twende moja kwa moja katika mfano husika example 3 mfano tatu will that car have been sold by 5 pm will that car have been sold by 5 pm isingekuwa swali kwa mfano alama ya kuuliza hii isingekuepo ya alama ya kuuliza isingekuepo ya pa kwa mfano isingekuepo hili neno pia lingerudi hapa baada baada ya neno car ingekuwa that car will have been sold by 5 pm that car will have been sold by 5 pm ambayo inamaanisha lile gari au hilo gari litakuwa limeuzwa ifikapo saa moja jioni hilo gari au lile gari litakuwa limeuzwa ifikapo saa moja jioni hasa inapokuja kwa upande wa swali hili neno ambalo litakiwa lifuate hapa hapa jina au majina hilo neno ambalo ni will linarudi huku mwanzo kwa hiyo inakuwa ni will jina au majina au kiwakilishi have been na kitendo ambacho kiko katika past participle kwa hiyo vitu vinavyobadilishana nafasi ni vitu viwili will inaenda sehemu ya eh, will inaenda sehemu ambapo ilikuwa jina au kiwakilishi na kiwakilishi kinaenda mahali ambapo ilikuwa will kwa hiyo will inakuja hapa mwanzo jina au kiwakilishi kinaenda mbele kisha huko mbele unaendelea na maelezo yote aliyosalia katika sentence husika tuangalie sasa namna ya ku tuangalie majibu na hapa kuna majibu mawili kuna jibu la ndio na jibu la hapana jibu la kwanza la ndio ni yes it will have already been sold by that time yes it will have already been sold by that time inamaanisha ndio kwa sababu ni gari tutasema litakuwa ndio litakuwa tayari limeuzwa ufikapo muda huo ndio litakuwa tayari limeuzwa ufikapo muda huo kwa mfano hi, hili neno already tukilitoa tunapata it will have been sold by that time it will have been sold by that time litakuwa limeuzwa ifikapo muda huo lakini tukiongeza neno already inakuwa it will have already been sold by that time litakuwa tayari limeuzwa ufikapo muda huo lakini pia hili neno it limewakilisha that car kwa hiyo ungeweza kusema 
yes, that car will have already been sold by that time. Ndiyo, gari hilo au hilo gari litakuwa tayari limeuzwa ufikapo muda huo. Au pia unaweza kutoa by that time ukarudisha hii hapa by 5 pm. Yes, that car will have already been sold by 5 pm. Twende kwa upande wa jibu la hapana, yani jibu la no. Ambapo kuna jibu kama hili, no. It won't have been sold yet. No, it won't have been sold yet. Tutoe kwanza hili neno yet. Tunapata no, it won't have been sold. Habena manisha hapana, litakuwa halijauzwa. Au wengine penza kusema hapana, halitakuwa limeuzwa. No, it won't have been sold. Hapana, halitakuwa limeuzwa. Au hapana, litakuwa halijauzwa. Na hili neno won't ni mungano wa will na not. Kwa hiyo, unazo pia ukasema no, it will not have been sold yet. Lakini yeti tukiacha tunapata no, it will not have been sold. Hapana, litakuwa halijauzwa. Na pia mwana mtindo wa kukanusha, hii sentence za passive voice katika future perfect ni kwamba hili neno will, litafatana na neno not. Kwa kifupi itakuwa won't. Utakuwa tayari umekanusha sentence yako. Tukiongeza hili neno yet, tunapata no, it won't have been sold yet. Ambeo ni sana kusema, hapana, litakuwa halijauzwa bado. Hapana, litakuwa halijauzwa bado. Ambeo na manisha kwamba litauzwa, lakini ufikapo mda huu litakuwa halijauzwa bado. Manaki linaweza likauzwa baada ya muda huu. Lakini kuna matarajio kwamba litauzwa. Okay, tuangalie pia jibu lingine ambalo linaweza likatolewa kwa swali kama hilo. Na hili jibu sio la ndio wala hapana. Lakini pia ni jibu linaloweza kufaa kutolewa katika eneo kama hili. Jibu linaweza kwa mfano I am not sure whether it will be sold or not. Just ask the auctioneer. Just ask the auctioneer. I am not sure whether it will be sold or not. Just ask the auctioneer. Tuende moja kwa moja kwenye maelezo hatua kwa hatua. I am not sure. Iwe na manisha sina uhakika. I am not sure. Sina uhakika. Whether it will be sold or not. Whether it will be sold or not. Ina manisha kama litauzwa au la. Kama litauzwa au la. Au ikiwa litauzwa au la. Mwanzo mpaka mwisho kwa upande wa hiki kipande cha kwanza. I am not sure whether it will be sold or not. Sina wakika kama litauzwa au la. Au sina wakika ikiwa litauzwa au la. Semi ya mwisho ya pa. Just ask the auctioneer. Just ask the auctioneer. Hili neno just kwanza tuliache. Tunapata ask the auctioneer. Ask the auctioneer. Manake muulize dalali. Muulize dalali. Auctioneer ni yule anaye ungoza mnada. Ni yule ambaye unakutaba watu wanasema kwa bay flani na nunua. Ya nakuwa nasikiza tuzile bay na kutaja bay za wateja mbali mbali. Wanao shindanisha bay ya kitu flani. Ili mwenye bay ya juu zaidi aweze kuchukua kitu hicho. Lakini tukiongeza hili neno just. Tunapata just ask the auctioneer. Ambu ni sana kusema hebu muulize dalali. Hebu muulize dalali. Au pia namna nyingine sana kusema muulize dalali tu. Muulize dalali tu. Muulize dalali tu au hebu muulize dalali. Mwanzo mpaka mwisho. I am not sure whether it will be sold or not. Just ask the auctioneer. I am not sure whether it will be sold or not. Just ask the auctioneer. Sina wakika kama litauzwa au la. Hebu muulize dalali. Sina wakika kama litauzwa au la. Hebu muulize dalali. Nitanza mwanzo mpaka mwisho. Ili kusaidia kuona kama unaweza kuwa una, unakumbuka vitu vyote na hivi vileza hapa. Na pia kama kuna mahali hawelewe vizuri basi uweke mkazo wa marudio mahali hapa. Nianze moja kwa moja na number one. Number one. Before that happens, they will have given me my license. Before that happens, I will have been given my license by them. Number two. Before the invited guests arrive, all tables and chairs will have been arranged properly. Number three. Will that car have been sold by 5 p.m.? Yes, it will have already been sold by that time. Yes, it will have already been sold by that time.
No, it won't have been sold yet. Won't equals will not. I am not sure whether it will be sold or not. Just ask the auctioneer. Nianze tena mwanzo mpaka mwisho na unaweza kujaribu kusoma pamoja nami. Number 1. Before that happens, they will have given me my license. Before that happens, I will have been given my license by them. Number 2. Before the invited guests arrive, all tables and chairs will have been arranged properly. Number 3. Will that car have been sold by 5 p.m.? Yes, it will have already been sold by that time. No, it won't have been sold yet. Won't equals will not. I am not sure whether it will be sold or not. Just ask the auctioneer.